Albert Einstein was sitting in the patent office and he had what he later in life called the happiest thought of his life. In 1907, Albert Einstein was sitting in the patent office where he was working after he got his initial degree in physics, and he had what he later in life called the happiest thought of his life. And strangely enough, this happiest thought involved the envisioning of an individual who was on the roof of a building falling off the roof and plummeting downward. Right now, what's so happy about that? Well, not so happy for that person who's falling, but for Einstein it was happy because he realized that as an individual is falling, he realized they don't feel their own weight. They feel weightless. And you can picture it, right? If they're, if they're standing on a scale, as they're falling with the scale, say, Velcroed to the soles of their shoes, they're not pressing on the scale, and therefore the reading on the scale will drop to zero. That's what we mean by them being weightless. And that was vital for Einstein because he was struggling to understand the force of gravity. And if by going into free fall you could eliminate gravity, he realized you could eliminate a lot of the complexity that he'd been struggling with. And leveraging that idea into a new description of gravity, the general theory of relativity, it still took Einstein eight more years to get there. So it's not like this happiest thought was the end of the story, it was the beginning of the journey but it was the beginning of a new pathway toward the goal of deeply understanding the force of gravity. And Einstein achieved that in 1915 when he gave the world the equations of the general theory of relativity.